In this tutorial, we will learn about Swift Bosbis and Swift Cut command. At first, you will have to create one path and one profile in order to use the Swift Bosbis command. Click on Sketch. Again, click on Sketch. Select the plane. Click on Front Plane. And here, I will create one path. Escape. Then fillet it. Give the radius. Then OK. Then OK. OK. So this path is created. Then I will need to create one plane for creation of profile. Click on features. Then reference geometry. Click on plane. Then select this line and this point. I want to create a plane passing through this end point. Click on OK. Then click on sketch. Select this plane. Click on sketch. Make it normal. And create the profile you want to sweep. I will create one center rectangle. Select. Then OK. Then click on again features. Click on Swift Boss Base. Then select the profile rectangle. Then select the path. This line. It has created the object with Swift Boss Base. Then if you want to create this feature hollow, you can click on this thin feature. And it will create the feature hollow. You can give here the thickness for thin feature. If you want to reverse direction by clicking on this, you can reverse the thickness direction. You can make it inside or outside. If you select mid plane, it will give the thickness half on either side of the your sketch. If you want to give different dimensions on either side of the sketch, you can click on this two direction. So as per that, it will give two inside and one outside. Then click on OK. In this drawing, I have already created one path and one profile. Then click on Shape Boss Base. Select the profile. Select the path. Click on the options. And if we click on this Keep Normal Constant, it will keep the profile parallel to the original profile. For this twist along path, we will take other object. Again profile, then path. Then in options, Select the twist along path. Then give the angle. Suppose I give 360 degree. So it will twist in, in that much degree. By clicking on these degrees you have other options also. You can specify the twisting angle in radians or you can also give the number of turns. Actually 360 degrees is one turn. If I give 3 turns that means it will turn it 360 into 3 times. If I turn it back into degrees, so it, it has been turned into 1080 degrees. As per that, it will twist it. You can also create a sweep boss base using multiple profiles. We will take different object. Here on one sketch, I have created multiple profiles. And on one sketch, I have created the path. Sweep boss base, select the profile. Then select the path. So it will create a swap boss base using multiple profiles also. And in this object if you give the twisting. If you give it by twist along path. And give the number of turns to be 2. So it will twist like that. If you click on OK. You can select that. It will create twisting using multiple profile also. This is other drawing in which I have created a path and a circular profile. We will see the other option from Swift Boss Base here. Here if we take this option, twist along path with normal constant. So we have already seen the keep normal constant. That means it keeps the profile parallel. And if we take this option, twist along path with normal constant. We will give the number of turns to be 1. Enter. So here you can view that it has twisted it. But it is keeping the profile parallel to the origin. If we edit this feature again. Then there is one more feature is follow path and first guide or follow first and second guide. 
to see this feature we will create one object we'll start new part click on sketch sketch select the top plane and we will create one ellipse give the first point give the second point then ok we will create one path on vertical plane click again on sketch select the vertical plane we will take this front plane then make it normal to and create one vertical line so this will be our vertical path and ok then we will need one guide curve here for that again click on sketch select the vertical plane front plane make it normal to and create one spline curve suppose we will create one spline here like this rightly ok then one more spline we will create here for that again click on sketch select the right plane make it normal and again spline create one more curve suppose here we will create one curve right click select ok now here we have one profile one path and two guide curves let's try it click on swift boss base profile is this one this is the path then click on this guide curves and select the first guide curve now this is without guide curve it is straight if we click on this guide curve it has created sweep like this but if, if we see the side view inside view it is still it is a straight only this front view it is curvature is there and if you want to apply this second curve also select on this second curve so it will apply in other direction also so in this way you can use the guide curves to create complicated object click on ok the next option is sweep cut for sweep cut again we will have to create one path click on sketch sketch select this surface make it normal and create one shape you want to cut suppose I want to cut something like this right click select then ok then create one plane click on features reference geometry plane select this curve and select this point ok then again sketch sketch make it normal then create one sketch to cut from this center suppose I want to cut this ellipse then ok now I have this path and profile we click on features swift cut and select this profile and select this curvature zoom fit and all the option, other options are same as we seen in swift boss base click ok so it will cut we will add this plane so in this in this way it will cut it so that's all in swift boss base thanks for watching we will stop here